Hello and welcome to the Lace-Up Tutorial Series. Today I'm going to show you how to set a unit of measurement family in QuickBooks, assign that to a product, and then I'm going to show you how to sell that product through Lace-Up in different units of measurement. To begin, you open your QuickBooks. Secondly, you select List and Unit slash Measurement Set List. That will open a window with all of your different units of measurement. To begin creating a unit of measurement, you right click on the window and you select new. The first step when creating a set list is to create or select your unit of measure type. In this case, I'm going to be using accounts. The second step is to select your base unit of measure. That's the smallest unit in which your product can be sold. In this case, I'm going to be using an each. Next, we want to add related units. Related units are the different packages or the different packaging in which you can sell that each. In this case, I'm going to be using a pair, a dozen, and a package. If you look, the pair contains two eaches. The dozen contains 12 eaches. And for the sake of this demonstration, the package will contain 24 eaches. Next, we want to select the default units of measure. You want to select first the default unit of measure that you purchase in. In this case, I'm going to be purchasing in an each. That's going to be for your purchase orders. Next, I'm going to select the unit of measurement in which I sell in. And this is going to be the default that I sell in. In this case, I'm going to be using a package. Lastly, I want to name the unit of measurement set list. I'm going to call it count in each one. When I'm finished, I click finish. If you look, my set list has been added to the list. Now to assign these units of measurement to an item, I'm going to go to my item list, which is going to open up all my items. In this case, I'm going to assign the units of measurement to Cafe Caracolillo. I'll double click on the item and if you look right here there's a field that says unit of measurement set. In this case I'm going to select the set that I've just created which is the count in each one. When I'm finished I'm going to click OK. Now I have to take that unit of measurement list and import it to LaceUp so that it can be invoiced. To do so I open up the LaceUp order server. To begin my update I click update data and I select products and inventories. That's going to go to QuickBooks and grab my unit of measurement list that I've assigned to that item. Now to get that item to show up in LaceUp with the correct unit of measurement list, I'm going to go to menu and sync data from server. That's going to go to the server and grab the newest unit of measurement that I've just grabbed from QuickBooks and pull it into the LaceUp app. It's time now to create the first invoice with that item. To create the invoice, I select the customer. I tap the three dots and I clock into my stop. To add a sales invoice, I tap the three dots again and I tap sales invoice at which point I'm going to get an order template of all of the items that I normally sell to that customer. To search for Cafe Caracolillo, I'm going to hit the search button. I'm going to select Cafe Caracolillo, at which point I'm going to get the screen for that item. I'm going to add five, and in this case, I'm going to sell five packages. If you see, the price is automatically converted from an each to a package. To add this item to the order, I simply click Add to Order. If you see, I now have one line on the invoice for Cafe Caracolillo, unit of measurement package, and I've ordered five. When I'm done, I click Done, at which point you see your invoice. The next step is to print the invoice. To print the invoice, I select it, and I click finalize. 
The first step when you finalize an invoice is to receive a signature. Normally this is done by the receiver at the point of sale. When I'm finished, I click Save Signature. When I'm done with the invoice, I'm going to print the final copies of the invoice to give one to the receiver or the customer and to keep one for myself. Here's the final invoice. Above, you'll see the customer name, the invoice number, and the line item. If you look, Cafe Caracolillo, five packages for a total of $4,122. Below, you can see the totals, and lastly, you can see the signature. When I'm done printing, I'm gonna click Done, at which point, I'm going to get a green finalized icon underneath the invoice showing that I'm finished. When this is enabled, I'm now able to clock out of my stop and return back to my route screen. Assuming this is my last stop for the day, I'm going to return back to the warehouse, tap on the three dots, and transmit that information to the back office. If you've seen, all of the invoices from the system have now been transmitted from the device located here to the back office located here. When I click on export orders, I'm not going to see that invoice. To get that invoice into QuickBooks, I'm simply going to click export documents. That's going to transmit that invoice from LaceUp into the QuickBooks accounting system. To find the invoice in QuickBooks, I simply go to Edit, Find, and I'm going to key in the invoice number. In this case, the invoice number is 908044. If you look, the first item that's appeared on the screen is that particular invoice. To view the invoice, I'm going to double click on it, and there's the invoice. If you've seen, the line for Cafe Caracolillo has come back in package just as I've created on the device. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Please make sure to subscribe for more tutorials that we'll be making in the future. Also make sure to check out our website at www.laceupsolutions.com. The link is in the description. I'll see you next time.